Oh, hi everyone. How are you? Michael and I just got to New Zealand four days ago, actually. We started off in the biggest city in New Zealand. It's called Auckland. We were there for three days. We were pretty lazy. We stayed in a really nice Airbnb and we just pretty much checked out the city. We hung out in the harbor, stayed in the central part of town, and then one day we took a ferry across the bay to a neighborhood called Devonport. And just yesterday we picked up our van to start our road trip. So we've only had the van for a day and let me tell you, as you can see, I'm driving on the other side of the road. So especially after not driving for an entire year, it's been a little tricky, but what we did was headed up north and stayed overnight in a place called Fongare in a free parking spot right by the beach. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then we headed up north to a place called the Bay of Islands and that was really pretty. We had lunch right by the ocean. It is a little chillier than we were hoping, but it was pretty nice weather. We are headed back down south to pick up our friend Brittany from the airport right now. So I'm sure you're wondering, since we're gonna be living in a camper van for 10 days, what it's like in the camper van. Where is our luggage going? Where are we sleeping? How big is it? Because it's not an RV, it's just a van. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Could you, could you say it again? He fell in the white... Welcome to our crib while we're here in New Zealand. This is the Juicy Condo. So it may look like just a regular van, but once you go inside, things are completely different. So let's take a look. So if you take a look right here, we have a fully functioning stove, as well as a fully functioning sink. But if you look right here, we have cabinets for storage of all of our silverware and various other things, as well as our refrigerator. If you look around here, we have storage for things like baby wipes, toilet paper, plates. Um, this has cups, mugs, bowls, bread. This is our snack cabinet, which is running a little low right now. And then we have wine glasses right here as well. We open this up and you can see we have a full size bed right here. So of course you do get your full privacy because these come down. So if you look up toward the ceiling, we have a second full size bed, which we are not using for anything but storage since there are only two of us and we have plenty of luggage from last year. So that is up on the ceiling. So thanks for checking out our crib while we're here in New Zealand. I will see you next time.